Hey there, John from MySolarHome.us. This new video is going to compare the Tesla battery versus the Enphase battery and the new Franklin battery. When you buy a battery, you're, you're normally buying the battery to work with your solar system. So it's important to compare the entire system, the battery plus the solar together. So in an Enphase system, you have solar panels with Enphase microinverters behind them, you have the Enphase battery, which itself is controlled by Enphase's microinverter. So this is one complete integrated system. Tesla has the battery and it has got its own inverter inbuilt into it. You have the solar panels. Now the solar panels need an inverter. Now you could, you could use any inverter along with the solar panels. One of the most common configurations is using the solar edge inverters along with the panels. So this is what I've shown here. And if you look at this Franklin, the Franklin battery, again, like the Tesla, has its own inverter inbuilt into the battery. And with the solar panels, you use an inverter of your choice. In this example, I have shown you a Fronius inverter. If you look at the three systems together, you will see one big difference between them. The Franklin and Tesla systems, the solar panels are controlled by either one or sometimes two string inverters. And the batteries have their own inverter. Whereas in case of the Enphase system, you have multiple microinverters controlling multiple solar panels, as well as multiple microinverters controlling the battery. What this means is that there is no single point of failure for the Enphase system. If that solar inverter goes bad, your entire system crashes for both the Tesla as well as for the Franklin batteries. That is a situation which will never happen with the Enphase system. Even if you have a couple of microinverters going bad, your battery output might reduce, your solar PV output might reduce, but you will never have catastrophic failure. Another big advantage of this tight coupling and integration that Enphase, the Enphase system gives you, is you have one single app that can measure every, how much output the solar panels are making, how much energy the batteries are putting out, how much energy is being consumed in the home. And all of this can be seen in a single integrated Enphase app. All the other battery systems, including Tesla and the Franklin, you will have multiple apps, one to look after your solar, one to look after your battery. Let's look at what happens during an outage with these three systems. Your panels, continue to produce energy and all that energy goes into your home and if, if the energy is being used in your home, great, or if it is not, then the balance remaining energy goes to charge your battery. During bright sunny days, your solar panels are likely to charge your batteries well before noon. And at that point, you start having trouble in paradise. The solar panels cont are continuing to make a lot of energy, the battery is charged, the home is not using as much energy, and at that point, the extra energy from the PV or solar panels has nowhere to go. Now, because of Enphase's superb integration, the system senses that the battery is full, that the PV panels are producing too much energy, and that the production from the PV panel needs to be throttled. The controller in the Enphase system is able to act as a dimmer and actually reduce the output from your solar panels. The panels continue to produce enough energy to keep the battery topped up so that when nighttime comes around, you still have a fully charged battery which, which can carry you through the night without trouble. Let's look at what happens in the Tesla and Franklin batteries once your battery gets fully charged. Now the PV panels are continuing to produce energy but they have nowhere to go. So we either have to dim their production like we did for the end phase or in the case of both the Tesla and the Franklin batteries, we use something very crude known as frequency modulation. A signal is sent to the PV inverter and shuts the PV inverter off. Your panels actually shut off. Your home is now entirely powered by your battery. So in the next few hours, your battery slowly gets discharged so that when nighttime arrives, you don't have a fully charged battery. One of the other advantages that the Enphase system gives you is that you can even work with a smaller battery with the Enphase system because you have access to so much more energy from both your PV as well as your battery during the daytime, which is not true for both the Tesla and the Franklin batteries. Now, another interesting thing which is likely to occur, it's winter time, the sun's not really out in the daytime, and you have a power outage. Now in this situation, you're in the same boat with any of these batteries, your home will be powered by the battery. And it is very possible that by the time 
the next day dawns in the morning your battery gets fully discharged next morning when the sun hopefully comes out it should charge your battery get it to restart this process of getting a, a battery which is fully discharged to restart after a power outage automatically is known as a black start both franklin and enphase have a black start capability but tesla unfortunately does not have this so if your battery gets fully discharged you might end up not having any power the next day another important difference between the three batteries is their battery chemistry both the enphase and the and the Franklin batteries have lithium ferrous phosphate technology, whereas the, whereas the Tesla battery has lithium NMC technology. The lithium ferrous phosphate batteries are far safer. God forbid if, if a car or something bangs into your battery, both the Enphase and the, and the Franklin batteries is protected against thermal runaway or the risk of catching fire very fast. All three batteries have got terrific generator integration. What this means is if you have a power outage and you also have a small generator attached to your home, you can use the generator to charge your battery during the daytime and not only be reliant on your PV pen. All these three battery systems will be able to, to provide power to your home for your lights, for your internet router, for your TV, maybe for your Xbox, for your kitchen, your fridge, everything that runs with 110 volts is pretty well taken care of by your batteries, all three of them. But if you plan to run something like a 240 volt, three ton central AC, all these three batteries are able to do it. A typical three ton central AC needs between six to eight kilowatts or between 25 to 35 amps of energy for a short while to get them kickstarted. That's the hump you see there in that graph. Once the AC is started, then it uses much less energy, more in the region of around 3 kW. All these three, all these three battery systems will be able to provide that surge current for the initial 10 seconds to get your AC started. Enphase has a little lower surge current compared to the other two, but they have a very fancy power control system or PCS system, which allows them for a short time to reduce the voltage and increase the current provided to the AC, thus allowing your three ton AC to start. If you're looking at a four ton AC, Franklin might be the only battery which will be able to get you started in one of those. Both the Tesla and the Enphase are likely to have trouble and you might need more than one battery. Finally, let's look at all of this together. So in terms of communication and troubleshooting, communication, troubleshooting and repair, the Enphase clearly scores over the Tesla and the and the the Tesla and the Franklin simply because of its superb integration, the energy that the PV plus battery provides you gives it a big leg up on the other two. The single mobile app to control everything is again something which is very nice. The multiple inverters in the micro inverter gives you no single point of failure. The lithium ferrous phosphate battery technology is an advantage for both Franklin as well as for for Enphase, not so much for Tesla. Generator integration is great for all three of them. You can use all three of them to start a central AC and of course all the regular devices in your home. After sales support is something which I worry for Franklin. Franklin is a new battery company. They've got an excellent product, but they don't have a big enough dealer network. So tomorrow if you have trouble, I think both Tesla and Enphase, which have magnificent nationwide networks are gonna give you better service and repair compared to Franklin. In terms of pricing, the Franklin batteries are going to be the best. In, they, they, they'll have the lowest prices. The Tesla will be next and the Enphase will be slightly more expensive. But we're talking about a difference of a few thousand dollars here, not a huge big difference. One area in which both the Tesla and the Franklin battery scores is their ability to give you larger batteries. You can get 100, 150 kilowatt hours of battery capacity with those two, but with Enphase, you're limited to just 40 kilowatt hours. I hope you like this video. There are a lot more videos on my channel. And if you're looking for a solar coat for your solar panels, or if you want to buy a battery, do send in an electric bill to me. Email it to john at mysolarhome.us. Do like and subscribe. Have a nice day.